Hello, I am Steve D'Amico, Mayor of Bullhead City. Get some help. I made legal charges against you. You threatened me with your lawyer last time. Where's he at? And Scotty, you're going to be hearing from my attorney very soon. What? What the fuck? You people are supposed to be held to a higher. You're supposed to be accounted for than more than we are. And for you to go off on me like that. I support the First Amendment 100%, freedom of speech. <laughs> but there's a fine line between libel, freedom of speech, and slander. Amico's not a private citizen anymore. He doesn't have those rights that private citizens have to protection from slander or privacy rights. He's a public official. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn to speak since you address me personally. Can you tell the difference between President Biden and Mayor Biden? He knew what he was getting into when he ran for mayor. Now that he's mayor, he thinks that he should have those protections that a private citizen has. Well, he doesn't. They're gone until he becomes a private citizen again. I don't know if you can see that or not from that camera. This one here is when you were down in the Cayman, or Virgin Islands at a 501c that people donate to instead of being here at the meetings. And that's, that's the risk that D'Amico took. And you, you uh, say I stayed at some 501c guy's house. My money, my vacation was paid with 501c. Where do you even get this stupid stuff? to the Virgin Islands uh, to the home of a 501c that's operating in this town. He doesn't even live in the United States, let alone Bullhead, but he's running a, a 501c tax exempt thing. He lives in the Virgin Islands and you're there at his house. How much rent did you pay? Okay. Did he use any of our frequent flyer miles? And I want to know what that entails. Did he use any benefits from the city, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? vacation with my hard-earned money. I worked my entire life. I paid for my vacation with my hard-earned money. I worked my entire life. I paid for my vacation with my hard-earned money. I worked my entire life. good picture of me though I wouldn't mind having a copy of it when you're done <laughs> but I think you, you screwed up this time hey. there's a fine line between free speech and slander Amico's not a private citizen anymore he doesn't have those rights that private citizens have to protection from slander or privacy rights. He's a public official. And you're not getting away with it this time, buddy. <laughs> you will be, I will be taking legal action against you. Amen. Thank you. All right, anyone else like to speak? I am Valerie Medina and what a great speech to follow. So last time I was here, we talked about the first amendment and what that means. And today we're gonna to talk about uh, your response, slander and defamation. 
So Arizona law requires when it involves public officials, all purpose public figures and limited purpose public figures mm -hmm. must prove that the defendant acted with actual malice. So Arizona law requires when it involves public officials, all purpose public figures and limited purpose public figures mm -hmm. must prove that the defendant acted with actual malice. So let's talk about what the mayor called slander and how Scotty McClure, candidate for District 2 Board of Supervisors, came to question the actions of the mayor. On December 19, 2023, this council promoted an organization by the name of River Fund, which is a Nevada organization for our community to donate to families of uh, children who died in an atrocious fire. It turns out that some of the parents were not given the money that was donated in their children's names. What I have here is a Facebook post from Nikki Lowell that says, if any of you donated to the River Fund here in Bullhead that was created from my family's death, just know they refused to let us use the funds because not all of us lost our house, only our kids. And that was their words. Well, that didn't sit right with a few of us, and so we started doing our own little digging into this river fund. Wouldn't you know that the current treasurer, Daryl Dowenhauer, and his wife, Debbie, who's the proprietary founder of the river fund, live in the Virgin Islands? Incidentally, not too long after that, the mayor was posting pictures of himself in the Virgin Islands on Facebook. And so somebody was able to make that connection. And so they came here and they asked, how did you go? Was it because of this charity? This charity that shows you, anybody can go and find this information, it's online. shows that he lives in the Virgin Islands. So there's no malice behind Mr. McClure's statements, and that's what's required to prove, to prove slander and defamation. And so I'm sorry that you paid money. I hope you didn't pay money for that attorney because honestly, his arguments favored Scotty. I <laughs> I don't know if you actually read it or looked up any of the cases he cited, but his arguments favored Scotty. So I hope you don't go get another attorney. The only person that was out of line in this situation was you, Mr. Mayor, when you got up and started screaming at Scotty about you finally crossed a line. He didn't. And Scotty, you're going to be hearing from my attorney very soon. <laughs> Any reasonable person would want to know where this money went because it didn't go to the families. But you guys stood up here and said, donate to the River Fund. We don't charge any fees. Don't do go, give, send, go. Donate to the River Fund. And so we started digging. And there's no privacy when you're posting these on Facebook, Mr. Mayor. save some money next time instead of threatening constituents and just maybe take what's given to you. Thank you. First of all, Scotty did not ask. He stated that I stayed at a 501c. Uh, that was on one occasion. There were numerous occasions. And you're done, please. Thank you. You, you have fun too, uh, Liz. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Cheney. All right, Mayor Biden. Here, we'll leave this for everybody.
Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, she didn't want to hear my reply. So, uh, first of all, um, I don't know the guy that owns the property in the Virgin Islands. I use an Airbnb. I actually went with a couple here from Bullhead City. Uh, I, should, I don't have to prove where I stayed, but I can. You can see the receipts from my Airbnb. Um, This charity that shows you, anybody can go and find this information, it's online, and it shows that he lives in the Virgin Islands. So there's no malice behind Mr. McClure's statements, and that's what's required to prove, to prove slander and defamation. And so I'm sorry that you paid money. I hope you didn't pay money for that attorney because honestly, his arguments favored Scotty. I don't know if you actually read it or looked up any of the cases he cited, but his arguments favored Scotty. So I hope you don't go get another attorney. The only person that was out of line in this situation was you, Mr. Mayor, when you got up and started screaming at Scotty about you finally crossed a line. He didn't. Any reasonable person would want to know where this money went because it didn't go to the families. But you guys stood up here and said, donate to the River Fund. We don't charge any fees. Don't do go, give, send, go. Donate to the River Fund. And so we started digging. And there's no privacy when you're posting these on Facebook, Mr. Mayor. So I hope you save some money next time instead of threatening constituents and just maybe take what's given to you. Thank you. Now I'm able to respond since you went after me directly. Uh, first of all, Scotty did not ask. He stated that I stayed at a 501C. I to know how. Uh, that was on one occasion. There were numerous occasions. And you're done, please. Thank you. I'm you have fun with your rebuttal. You, you have fun too, uh, Liz. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Cheney. Yeah. All right, Mayor Biden. Here, we'll leave this for everybody. His wife is a, also a public official. team now so she, and especially since she's publicly active she if she wasn't politically active if she just was quiet and stayed in the sidelines that'd be a different story but she's out there saying things doing things so she is in the same category as she is official so he doesn't have any protections he thinks he does and his lawyer can threaten all his lawyer can threaten all he wants once they go to court he's going to lose he's going to have to pay for the, the fees of actually taking someone to court to sue or the judge is going to say this is a frivolous lawsuit i'm dismissing it and won't even go to court in the first place and scotty you're going to be hearing from my attorney very soon it's just a threat just to get people to shut up but it's not going to work Anyone else?